All right, looks like good little racers putting their that boot on the shifter there. Boot. He made that boot. That's not that's not store bought. Did you make it or Jenny? Jenny. Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Check this out. Check out the stitching on this. Look at that. You're not gonna get that on uh, on something store bought. And then they also made a up here. Just mm -hmm. little. Uh, there's a little pocket in there for a zip tie to close it, the top there. Tight. Yeah. That's pretty good. Then we're going to have to make a pattern and send them home with some Naga hide and make something for the emergency break. Alright. I'm going to let little Racer uh, work on that and then uh, take a look at it when he's done. Also, check out the knobs on this thing. You got one one polished aluminum one and a plastic one for the wipers and then the heater is another plastic so I was able to find matching for that matching the knobs for that aluminum one there and uh, we're going to uh, stick them on there down there that way uh, you know it looks a little better you know every, all these little details they, everything helps so we'll put them on and see what they look like alrighty get a small screen on Alright, little racer uh, got that screwed in and, and tucked in and everything. It looks pretty good. Let me get him over here to try it out. I mean, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Why don't you give that uh, shifter a test run while you're there? Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Nice job, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's uh, let's move on to the the knobs, the dash knobs. And there we go. We got them on there. A little racer down there. Good thing he gets under there because I couldn't get under there. Yeah. You know, not the prettiest set of knobs, but I mean that's the hand we were dealt, and that's what we're gonna stick with. The other ones look shinier. The other ones look like chrome, but they're actually polished aluminum. They're just uh, polished aluminum. Yeah. They're just newer than that, so. All right, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not even crazy about the way they have them set up in a triangle pattern there, but uh, like I said, that's a handward dealt, and that's that's what we're going to stick with. So. All right, let's move on. Let's, let's find something else to do. All right, we've got a leaky uh, wheel cylinder in this one here, so we're going to have to take his wheel off. Might as well change both of them while we got it off. But. Uh, Problem with these is uh, when they when they throw these cars together without a build sheet, you don't know what the hell you're dealing with. We know we have a, a 44 Dana rear in this, but uh, we don't know what their wheel cylinder is. And hopefully, there's a part number on there. All right, let's take it off part and see what's going on. Got a nice day out there today. It's our first uh, 53 degree day in all winter. A uh, little racer uh, got the drum off. What's it look like, buddy? Uh, looks like you could use a set of brakes. This one's pretty thin. Yeah. The back one's not too bad. Looks like the adjuster's pretty much adjusted all the way out, too. Huh. Can you determine uh, anything from that seal? You can tell it's leaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that before we took the wheel off. Got a name on it or anything? Yeah, Wagner. Oh. Uh, at the maybe it has a maybe it has a number yeah, once we take it off. Number on it too. Yeah, that that that'll help. Yeah. Hopefully. I hope so. Oh well. Should be pretty common though. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine it might be Chevy. Well, let's let's hope we can figure it out. Chevy. All right. All right. I've just been informed that the the wheel seal looks good, and it turns out it's probably a wheel uh, wheel seal. Axle bearing. Axle bearing seal. Yeah. Axle seal. Axle tube seal. Yeah. So maybe we'll just clean that up and uh, check our gear wheel and do that at a later time. It might be the way we had it jacked up and everything, but still, you know, your rear shouldn't be leaking. So uh, we're going to postpone this job. All right. All right. We're going to take the coop out on the maiden voyage. Going to fuel it up. Still, he's not done, but uh, it's roadworthy and it's safe. So, let's go, buddy. All right. All right, here we go. This thing rides actually pretty nice.
a little bouncy, but uh, that's some uh, coil overs in the back. Yay. Here you go, too. Let's get a load of this. Look at these two guys. They're going, they're going to pick up chicks. I don't know where they're going to put them. But I know they'll be able to get them. Look at them, they're having fun. Alright, I'm going to start the, the top half of the interior here. And I'm going to start in that corner where that, that bend is and then work out from there. So, uh, I'm going to start with a paper template and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Alright, we got us a, a dirty little uh, template there. You know, just uh, roughing around the window and, the, and get the curve there. Now I'm going to transfer that to a piece of rigid cardboard and uh, see what it looks like. Alright, I got a piece of, actually pizza box here, you know, some rigid cardboard and it, uh, it fits pretty well, fits the way I want it to, so now I could uh, find a piece of uh, maybe uh, eighth inch aluminum and, and transfer it to that. Uh, I got a piece of aluminum here. It's uh, pretty pretty thick. I mean, I had a tough time bending, that's how, uh, how thick it is. I actually had to get a little racer to help me, but uh, Got a nice profile to it, and, and that that's going to fit in there nice. So let me cut out the. It's only a little notch on the side for the window, and then a notch up top. So let me cut that out and see how we can get that to fit. All right, we got that piece in the corner there, cut and shaped right. I don't mind telling you, it took me about three hours. You know, because the top, the contour of the top is a little different than the contour of the bottom. And then you gotta make a cut for the window, and that's uh, that's pretty good there. And then you got uh, the top bending in and everything. Yeah, I had to twist and bend and rebend and cut and you name it. It wasn't easy, but uh, finally got it. And right, let me polish that up and uh, make it look a little better so it'll uh, hold some glue. Alright, we got the other side done there too. That uh, it didn't take quite as long as the first one because uh, I just reversed the pattern and uh, it uh, fit pretty good. But I still had to bend and twist and shape and cut and everything else. So, alright, let's move on.